your friends, Nibs, again. Out here at the range today, doing a little bit of shooting. It's uh, it's very windy out here today. Um, <clears throat> complete different, uh, opposite from uh, yesterday when it was completely calm and beautiful out here. So I decided to uh, keep it short, keep it short range, and we're just going to do a little bit of shooting with some pistols out here today. I already did a review on my uh, 92 FS with the Volvatu laser sight on it. It did very well. Um, I was doing more of a kind of a speed type of shooting with that one just to you know see as far as like with you just using the laser more than the sights anything uh, and it really did very well so um, but in this one we're going to be getting a little bit old school and uh, we're going to be trying out well you guys have seen this one if you've been on my channel for any amount of time you guys have seen this one before but uh, I just really love this old gun it's just unbelievable how accurate this little thing is. Um, this is a JP Sauer and Son, and this is a, a model 38H, which is interesting. I don't know why they call it a 38. Well, I think it came out in 1938, but uh, it's interesting that you would think a 38H would be chambered like 380 or some sort of 38 caliber. <laughs> but uh, this one is actually chambered in 32, uh, 32 auto or 765 Browning that they call it sometimes. And I'm gonna be shooting it with this uh, Gecko. And these are, let's see, these are a 73 grain, grain full metal jacket. I do hand load for this too. Um, I just decided to bring out a box of this and, and plink with it. But we'll go ahead and we'll shoot a couple of, uh, couple of mag fulls up through it. And we'll see what we can do. I am shooting at uh, 10 yards here. Well, 10 paces anyway. My Paces tend to be a little bit bigger than three feet, so. <clears throat> Probably just a little bit over 10 yards out here, but this guy is uh, it's nice. Um, they, like I said, they originally came up with this design in 1938. And uh, one distinction you can tell, this one is actually a World War II production 38H. Um, the original 38Hs would have had a safety here on the slide, and uh, during World War II they decided to eliminate that uh, to speed up production, speed a couple less steps of uh, manufacturing. So, but uh, I just uh, we'll check it; it's, it's empty. But I wanted to show you a couple of key features on this guy. Um, first, it has a mag release up here on the which is very reminiscent of a, like a 1911 mag release. And that is very unusual for a German pistol. Most German pistols all had the heel release down here. Um, very few of them had a, a, a grip release uh, behind the, like a 1911. <clears throat> but one of the other interesting features I like about this one, you can load around. And uh, when you load the, load the round, first thing that's gonna happen is it's going to uh, cock your cock your trigger, so it would be really hot. That's why we'd want to have a so you would, and then when you would shoot, it's got it's got a uh, mag safety, so I can't click it right now. But you can see that the hammer or the trigger is in the rearward position. But watch when I put this lever down, that is uh, it decocks the hammer. So now. Uh, if you wanted to, you have two choices. If you're using this as a personal defense, you pulled this out, you could uh, recock the gun with that, and now you'd be ready with a single action shot. Or uh, if you were just pulling it out, you didn't have time or the mental, you could just do a double action shot, like a uh, more modern day 92 FS or a Smith & Wesson Model 39 or a gun like that. that uh, is double action for the first shot, then once it cocks, the subsequent shots would be uh, single action. <clears throat> but uh, this is kind of ahead of its time for that, uh, th all those features, and uh, really kind of cool. Not to mention it's very accurate. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll shoot a couple of magfuls with it and uh, see what I can do with it. It's got a very light trigger too. That one kind of surprised me when that one went off. It's 
seven round magazine. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a slide hole open, so I always lose count here. I think that was the last one, but yep. <clears throat> I always lose count. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, it, it, definitely slide hole opens were something that were going on at that time, so I'm not sure why they decided to not incorporate it in such a gun with, with so many other advanced features as this one, but you know, that's uh, but I know it's not just my gun because I have read that these did not have that, so but uh, seven rounds of uh, 32 auto, very accurate. Uh, kept all of those in uh, at least the, the nine ring. Actually, I haven't hit too many in the 10 right yet, but <laughs> let's see if I can change that with this mag full. Pulled that one up high, darn it. I wasn't expecting it. I thought I thought I counted seven already. So I got one flyer up there because I wasn't wasn't counting accurately, but all right. Uh, you guys can see that target already. I got one flyer up in uh, the light green circle, but the rest of them are all in there nice and tight. But uh, there you go, there is my, uh, yeah, let's do one more. I got enough. Going pretty quick here. So these were a <clears throat> competition to, with the the Mauser HSCs at the time and the Walther PPK. They're not as nearly as common as either one of those uh, those guns, but uh, I can't imagine that why they you know they're very very accurate, very reliable. Um, I don't think I've ever had a failure to cycle on this thing. There's a good one. That was the last one. No, it wasn't. Ugh. Am I getting eight in this thing? I must be getting eight in this thing. I thought it was seven plus one. I must have. All right, now I got my curiosity peaked. I got to see how many goes in this magazine. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just loading it. There's two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yep, yeah, takes eight. So I was, I was wrong, guys. Sorry about that. Well, guess what? We got a loaded mag. We better empty it. So <laughs> I pretty much, uh, pretty much blasted up this box of ammo. But I'll finish it up off camera after we uh, finish up. But That was eight. There we go. Now I'm counting right. <laughs> well, that explains why I, I knew I counted seven and then I had one left in there. And uh, good thing I checked it. But uh, there we go. There is my JP Sauer and Son Model 38H. Uh, this particular one, best I can figure with this one, it was made around 1942. Uh, that is when they started uh, deleting the slide safety and uh, and then in, from what I read around in 43 44 to even speed up production more they stopped doing a lot of this nice finish work on the bluing and stuff so the subsequent ones in 43 and 44 would have been a lot more crudely finished but this one's still got really fine bluing so um, based on those uh, features uh, I really come to determine that this one was made in 1942. So, anyway, 
Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Check out my Amazon storefront down below. If you buy something there, it helps out the channel. It doesn't cost you any more, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, have a great day.